for us to find the exact value of the expression, we are given sine of two times inverse tangent of five twelfths. The first thing to recognize here is that inverse tangent of five twelfths is equal to the angle theta where the tangent function value of theta is equal to the input of the inverse tangent function, which in this case is five twelfths. And the angle theta must be in the open interval from negative 90 degrees to positive 90 degrees. So again, if we let inverse tangent of five twelfths be equal to theta, then we can say the given expression is equal to sine two theta. And now let's model the angle theta on the coordinate plane and sketch the reference triangle. Because the tangent function value is positive, we know the angle theta is in the first quadrant. So let's say this is the angle theta. Let's sketch the reference triangle. Because the tangent function value is equal to five twelfths, we can label the opposite side five and the adjacent side twelve. And now to determine the length of the hypotenuse using the Pythagorean theorem. We may recognize this is a five, twelve, thirteen right triangle, and therefore the hypotenuse is thirteen. But let's verify this using the Pythagorean theorem. And let's use the Pythagorean theorem in the form of c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Let's let a equal five and b equal twelve, which gives us c squared is equal to five squared plus twelve squared and therefore c squared is equal to 25 plus 144. 25 plus 144 is equal to 169, giving us c squared equals 169. The hypotenuse is always positive, so now we'll take the principal square root of both sides of the equation. And since 13 times 13 is equal to 169, c is equal to 13. Now that we have the completed reference triangle, we can now evaluate sine two theta using the double angle identity for sine. Notice sine two a is equal to two times sine a times cosine a, which gives us sine two theta is equal to two times sine theta times cosine theta. Well, sine theta is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, which gives us five thirteenths. And cosine theta is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, which gives us 12 thirteenths. If we want two as a fraction, it has a denominator of one. Multiplying in the numerator, we have two times five times 12, which is 120. In the denominator, we have 13 times 13, which is equal to 169. And this fraction does not simplify, so now we have the exact value of the original expression, 120, 169ths. I hope you found this helpful.